Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by Progresso Fishing Tours. Find us at yucatansnook.com. DOA Fishing Lures, Okuma Inspired Fishing, Eagle Claw Trocar Hooks, Yozerti Fish the Best, and yucatansenote.com. Oh, yeah. Live the adventure. Folks, coming up in this episode, we're heading three and a half hours south of our home base in Progresso into the Kalkini Biosphere Reserve to Isla Arena in the north of the state of Campeche. But first, we're gonna take you on a road trip and show you what it's like to get to our favorite fishing destinations. Folks, traveling throughout the Yucatan is like traveling back in time. The beautiful people, the small Mayan pueblas, and the old abandoned haciendas. Well, folks, welcome to Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing. It's obvious we're not fishing, but we get to visit some really amazing places en route to our fishing location. Today, we're heading to Isla Arena. It's about three and a half hours from our home base in Progreso. And en route, there's all these beautiful old haciendas. And as you can see behind me here, this is an hacienda that used to produce rope. Rope was uh, from a sisal plant, from the Hennequin plant. Uh, used to be the major area right here in the Yucatan. Uh, all these haciendas would produce rope before it became synthesized, obviously. And as you can see behind me, a lot of this machine work is still here. And this dates back to the late 1800s. And some of it even later than that. Really, really amazing to see these old structures still standing today. Pretty amazing. Folks, the roads that we took this week, we were able to come across some extremely beautiful areas. And I have to admit, some very big, big potholes. Well, I couldn't help myself. Whenever I see a fishable body of water off the side of the road, I had to stop and wet a line. So folks, we're, we're, we're really blessed to be able to stay here, uh, here on Isla Arena at the crocodile farm. They have over a thousand crocodiles here from little babies that they reproduce. Um, and they have these big giant females and the males that are down there in the water to help reproduce the population. Now they don't use the population to reintroduce into the wild. They use them for meat and for the skin. And this girl is looking at me pretty heavily. Yeah, you're a pretty thing. Can you have a kiss? Un <laughs> besito. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, well, my first time ever holding a crocodile here uh, at the crocodile farm. These guys, I am in. I have to thank 
Don Carlos here for putting the rubber bands on the mouse so he doesn't turn around and hit it off and you bite me. This is a two years old, two year old crocodile. Um, una niña. Una niña. A little baby. A little baby girl. Quite cute. Feels, uh, well, if you've never held a crocodile, it's kind of a leathery feel. She's very calm. Can I kiss you? <laughs> That's as far as I'm getting. All right.